Hello, welcome to jasonnewland.com My name is Jason Newland and I do have the top of my head look, it's just the angle of the, ca of the camera uh, just in case you were wondering so today I'd like to talk about bullies so if you'd like to close your eyes and give your eyes a rest and give your ears a treat <laughs> I like that give your eyes a rest and give your ears a treat and you know only if it's safe for you to do so and it's something I've been thinking about bullies and they seem to be everywhere in various degrees people trying to control other people which is bullying people trying to get their own way talking about each other or behind their back or in front of them even putting people down so there's very different types of abuse, you could say, which is in some ways actually acceptable in our society. Put down to humour or put down to, if the person doesn't like it, then obviously they take themselves too seriously or don't have a sense of humour. And then there's the, the pack mentality, the ganging up on people you know if, if you don't fit in with the group then you're ostracized or you're pushed out of the circle or demeaned I don't know so I'm just wondering what could be the solution to this <laughs> other than genocide <laughs> so obviously that's not an option I was only joking so, what could be the answer? I suppose it's a matter of what are we willing to accept? Do we have to accept bullies? Do we have to put up with bullies? Or can we put our foot down and say no? No. No more. Not doing this anymore. Not allowing this to happen anymore. No matter what the result. No more bullying. And there are people you can get help, you know, from if you're at school or at college or at work, in a workplace, if you're being bullied, you can hopefully go somewhere, you know, a supervisor or a manager or HR and get help, get support from family and friends. So you don't have to deal with it all on your own. But ultimately, you're the one that makes the decision to say no more to bullying. No more to bullies. No. Like a definite no, not, oh no, but no more. Realising that you do have the say over how you live your life. You have a say over what's acceptable for you. You have a say over what you allow and how you allow other people to treat you. You don't have to allow anybody to mistreat you. 
you can decide to say no more to bullies. No more, no. 100% no. And this can be a difficult situation to have to deal with, I know. But you can really get in touch with that part of you, the inner part of you. The part of you that's with you 24 hours a day from the moment you're born for your entire lifespan. That's the part of you that needs to take care of you. That's the part of you that you need to get in touch with to realise that this present moment isn't going to last and things will change and you can decide how they change by taking control and saying no more to bullies no more to bullies ever don't allow them to have any power because their power isn't real power it's lent to them by you they just suck the energy and the power out of people they don't have any power of their own they're weak insignificant unimportant to you they're not important people to you they'll be important people to some people parents, children wives, husbands but to you insignificant person who's a bully bullies don't deserve anything until they stop being bullies. They've lost their rights. Bullies have no rights. This may sound harsh, but it sounds like fun to say. Bullies have no rights. Until they stop bullying. Those are the facts. Insignificant unimportant until they stop bullying then they can join the real circle of life the real inner circle of decent people people that are kind generous and caring people that are trying to live their lives in a decent way without trying to manipulate or hurt other people for their own ends. That's the real circle of life. That's the real inner circle. And you're already in it. So whenever you feel you're being pushed out of a circle by bullies or group bullies, you can remember that you're in a much bigger circle. And that was the tap just going then you're wondering what the water sound was remembering that you're in the proper circle the inner circle of kindness caring and love and remember that because it makes life much easier and it makes bullies much easier to deal with and it's much easier for you to say no more to bullies and you can enjoy the rest of the day feeling wonderful and thank you for listening see you